free. That's goddamn right, Trini. Я только что встретил Реда Быховский. Он не согласился продать мне радиационные костюмы. Прием. Поняла вас, Чебурашка. Я попытаюсь связаться с его братом Риком и приобрести радиационные костюмы у него. Прием. Прекрасно. Пожалуйста, сохраняйте радиомолчание до того, как мы получим костюмы. Я не хочу, чтобы рейнджеры узнали о том, что мы делаем раньше, чем мы прибудем в домонку. Прием. Сообщение получено. Вас поняла. Конец связи. Base. Can you repeat? Did you say the plants were attacking? Yes, goddammit, the plants! Something's gone wrong with the... Oh, fuck! The door! They're breaking down the door! Fall back! Fall back! Ranger Team Echo, this is Ranger Command. Come in. Did you copy those distress calls from High Pool and Ag Center? Over. Roger that. Uh... Listen, Echo One, I have no one else in the area and no further intel at this time. I'm afraid it's going to have to be your decision which call to respond to first. Whichever one you choose, get there ASAP. Both situations are emergencies and both sounded like they were deteriorating rapidly. Copy? Uh-huh. Suspicious, isn't it, Echo One? Like someone's monitoring our transmissions trying to stop our little radio experiment before it starts. Keep an eye out for suspect characters. Copy. 10-4, Echo-1. Godspeed. Take command out. Roger, Echo-1. Then listen. Deal with the emergency situation first before proceeding to the satellite dish. Repeat, talk to Kathy Lawson and take care of her emergency. 
Then, go to the satellite dish and hook up the repeater. Protecting civilians is always a ranger's number one priority. Do you copy? Roger, Echo One. Advise when complete. Ranger Command out. Okay, this is bad. This is kill it with fire bad. What the hell caused this?
Hello? By the doors, can you hear me? Watch it. That? Did you idiots Looks like the pods are triggered by right sudden movement. Front of the door? You think it better be the damn rangers. We've been calling for help for hours. The plants have gone crazy. About time. Yes, we need help. What have I been saying? I'm opening the doors now. Rangers, where have you been? Ms. Lawson, meet the new recruits. Recruits, meet Ms. Lawson. Forget the friendly introductions, Angie. Wasn't the deal we made with the Rangers? We give you food, you give us protection. Well, your recruits are looking pretty goddamn well fed, but we've been up to our tits in killer tomatoes for eight hours and not a Ranger in sight. <sighs> you should take it from here, recruits. Learning to deal with angry citizens is part of the job.
As if the rest of this craziness wasn't enough, the plants are also starting to explode. Get too close to one of those red pods and bam! Huh. Come to think of it, everyone who's changed into one of those pod people got blasted first. If I could get one of those pods to study, intact, I might be able to come up with a cure. You'll need to move slow and careful to get close to the pod without setting it off. If one of you agree, I suppose a handful of fragments of pods, let's say 10, would do the trick if you can't manage to collect a whole one. If we don't find a cure, the infection will surge back and we'll all be dead. about time. Now listen, we think the mutations stem from contamination in our irrigation system. Unfortunately, the computer that operates the pumps seems to be malfunctioning and we can't shut it off remotely. Maybe its circuits are overloaded from all the alarms going off. The computer is down the corridor past the airlock behind us. I can open that lock, but if you're gonna do your job and rescue our guys, see Rose. She has the current override codes for the greenhouse airlocks. Either way, we'll lead you to the computer room eventually. If you can get the computer working, you can shut down the pumps from there. If not, you'll have to go into the east and west fields and turn off the valves by hand. Now get going before any more of my people die. Sometimes I think that thing is more trouble than it's worth. It's supposed to automate all our irrigation and feeding, but it seems to be like on the fritz most of the time. Yes, go, do your job. I'll open the central airlocks for you now, but remember, we might have people trapped in the greenhouses, so talk to Rose for the door codes. says she can fix me up. I hope so. Hurts like the dickens. Hmm. I recognize the uniforms, but not the faces. Y'all must be new recruits. Hope this ain't your first dance, though, because I got the feeling it ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Name's Matt Forrestall. Well, I guess I'm the boss around here. Used to wear one of them stars, though, back in the day. Got a little too close to one of those exploding pods. Now I got a little plant shrapnel souvenir. No big deal. Normally, just keep everything organized and humming along. Today, get blown up, fail to help my people, I, I guess. Sorry, Rangers. I don't mean to be all self-pity and rain clouds. Just having a shitty day. Yes, indeed. I was a ranger. Back before old Vargas' hair turned gray and Ace was just still a three of clubs. Quit to run the Ag Center after I took a bullet in the gut. Missed any organs, but I just couldn't move like I used to. They're red seed pods that explode when you get close to them. That's what happened to me. 
Tried to go in and pull one of the farmers out. Damn pod went off like a grenade. Still haven't got all the shrapnel out either. Stings like damnation. We've lost a lot of good ones, but I'm damn proud of everyone. We haven't had widespread panic. Tensions aren't spilling over too bad. Folks are doing their honest best trying to help where they can. If you find anyone as you make your way into the complex, I'll make sure you get commendations and compensation for helping them out. Yeah, I heard. Bet I knew before the Rangers did. Damn shame. Wish I could have gone to his retirement party. Hope you kids did him proud. Heard about it from one of our farmers named Skinner. Said he talked to some wandering merchant who traveled with him and seen the attack. Recognized Ace by his description. <laughs> that crazy hair of his. Don't know anything else about him. You're welcome to ask Skinner, if he's still alive. He helps cultivate the fungi in the mushroom caves. Good man, if a little too partial to snake squeezings. <laughs> Last I saw of him, he was in the mushroom caves looking for his family right after the plants went loco. Sorry, wish I did. Skinner just said the merchant told him it was a strange man, but that was all. Maybe you can get more out of him. They're below the center. You can get to him through the computer room. Perfect for growing fungi down there. That's some foul stuff. Like gin. It was made in a bathtub somebody died in. Yeah, it does take the edge off from time to time, though. Damn proud of this place. Signed on here, because I figured there were ways other than shooting bad guys that I could make the wasteland a better place. And make a profit at the same time. Not doing too bad at it either. <laughs> Got a little distribution deal with the rail nomads, and hopefully soon we'll be keeping the local communities fat and happy. Even Ranger Citadel. Of course, this little crisis might change all that. Serious setback. Well, the food ain't doing any good if it just sits here and rots, is it? I let the researchers figure out the best way of growing things. My job is to get it to the people. Yeah, once they get themselves straightened out, we plan to use their rail lines to ship to all our customers. But until we can stop this crisis and make sure the food is safe again, nobody's going to get fed. Don't know what happened exactly. Rose seems to think our irrigation system's been monkeyed with. Whatever it is, everything in the facility is mutating faster than we can keep track of. The plants are growing weird, exploding pods, the insects are as big as bear cats. Even the men. I don't know what they're turning into, but it's horrible. It's gotta be stopped. One of our researchers, a mentor to all the rest of us, I think she's working down the hall to the left there. Well, I don't know if we're gonna manage to find a way to reverse all this, but we gotta at least stop it from getting worse, and that means we gotta get that irrigation system turned off. You already talked to Kathy about that, right? Things are a little paltry right now, but I've got some gear you can make use of. Thanks for coming by, Rangers. Always good to see new recruits taking their first steps into the big wide world.
Kathy's office. Huh. I expected whips and handcuffs. <laughs> 